What's up, people? It's me, um, Jesse Cope here. I'm just going to show you what my computer does when I boot it up. Um, so basically, it has these weird, crazy lines. And the only reason, the only way when it doesn't shut down correctly that I can um, keep it from glitching completely out is putting it in safe mode. It's an old Alienware computer, so um, it's about probably, I want to say nine years old um and i had it for like ever I've had it since i was like well maybe like 13 and i'm 25 now it still works but um it's got some issues uh so basically if you don't shut it down correctly or it runs out of power um the screen will get all fucked up as you can see so basically what i have to do is put it in safe mode and then once I put it in safe mode, it does all of the Windows systems and loads all the base drivers and stuff. And it'll have all these crazy weird lines and everything like that. And you're like, what the fuck? Why does the screen look like that, right? Well, I figured a way to fix it. You just have to, um, you have to shut it down in safe mode. Um, so basically what'll happen is, um... I'm not going to show you my password or anything like that, but um, you'll put it in safe mode and then it'll take forever to boot up. So I'm just waiting for it to boot up. And then it'll bring you to this screen right here and then you put your password in. I'm not going to show you my password. And, um, so put my password in. And then, so basically, like, if your computer is, like, all malfunctioning, it's, and it's an alien where it's probably still not broken. So basically, you get to this screen, and, um, then you wait for this little window to pop up over here. Because, you know, this obviously looks really fucked up for a computer. But, I mean, safe mode... This is a Windows Vista computer, so it's like really old school. But um, go over here in safe mode and then click the exit button. And then you go down here to the start menu and you click start and you go over to shut down. And then you shut it down. It shuts down the whole entire computer. So you don't get these crazy weird lines and you get a blue screen. I don't know if you saw in the beginning of the video, but my screen is completely blue. And it said system malfunction, shutdown, whatever. So then you wait here for five minutes. So I'm um, just going to wait here for five minutes. So right now while we're waiting here for five minutes, we can look at this um, YouTube video. This is my YouTube channel and I've been having um, troubles um, with getting subscribers over here. I'm actually on my other YouTube channel watching some of my videos. And this is a good tip. Um, if you want to get uh, those 4,000 hours, uh, just leave one of your computers running with um, your videos on your playlist. Um, I got a lot of videos on here, so it would take me... Well, as you can see, I got a lot of videos right there. So it take me quite a while to watch all my videos, but definitely have already hit the... Um, I've already hit the mark for 4,000 hours on my channel, so I'm not worried about that, but I'm more so worried about, um, the, the, you know, getting 1,000 subscribers, so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm worrying about right now, is getting those 1,000 subscribers, so if you could subscribe to my, um, my YouTube channel, that'd be great, because I'm trying to get... 1,000 subscribers. I already have everything on my YouTube channel. Um, basically on um, the monetization system as it is. And I, I make like pretty decent money. I don't make the most money more than anyone else, but I, I make money on there. Um, and I've definitely got a lot of content and a lot of good material on there, so I really want to get that 1,000 subscribers so I can keep my monetization. Right now it says I'm at 165. I don't know if that's updated or not, 
but um, hopefully I was trying to get 200 by the end of the night, 1,000 by the end of this 30 days, so definitely um, hit my YouTube channel up. It's Jesse Culp on YouTube, that's J-E-S-S-E-C-U-L-P, and you, as you can see, that's my name right there, so my YouTube channel. I'm not going to show you the YouTube channel itself, I'm just, this is one of my videos on there. Definitely do a lot of games. Actually, it's playing Horizon Zero Dawn. So one way you can navigate through my channel is through the playlists. I've got a full walkthrough for Horizon Zero Dawn. So um, definitely, if you want to um, watch a full walkthrough of the game, I've got the whole entire, every single gameplay of every single area in that whole entire game done. Um, so definitely check that out. It's an adventure. Um, definitely was fun playing through it. I did it pretty quick, so. Um, yeah, and then I've got a shit ton of other games on there, um, that I've played. Just kind of my history of gaming is on there, so, um, definitely check me out. Um, yeah, so I've got a bunch of different content on there, and I, I also have some eating challenges. It's not gaming. It's not the only thing I do on there. So yeah, and then I, I think I've also linked a few of my other older accounts to it, but I mean, there's nothing on really any of my older accounts that's like really worth watching. I've got a lot of good gaming material on this. We're going to switch back over to this computer and hopefully, I don't know if I gave it enough time or not, but um, hopefully it'll boot back up. Always want to make sure that it's plugged in. So for these old Alienware's, um, you got to basically the battery on them like when they get way too old it shuts off really quick so um you gotta basically leave it plugged in like a desktop um but yeah so like sometimes i forget to plug it in and then it runs out of battery and then i get a blue screen um when i try to turn it on the next time i get a little box filled with zeros and ones in the corner right here um, so I thought it was broken at first, but once I put it into safe mode and then shut it down and leave it off for about five minutes, usually boots back on. So I think it's been about five minutes, so I'm going to risk it and try turning it on. If you try turning it on too soon, it'll sometimes bring it back to the same screen. So, and if it does, then I can show you exactly what the screen looks like when you turn it on, but it's, computer's not broken. Oh, it's still broken shit I turned it on too soon sometimes you gotta leave it off for like 15 minutes but um you know what I'll probably do is I'll probably make another YouTube video after I get it back and up and working again Cause it's not actually broken I need an editing system. I don't have any a good enough computer to post my videos and edit them. So right now that's where I'm stuck. Oh, never mind. It's not broken. So as you can see. From blue screen into regular home screen. All you have to do is put it into safe mode and shut it down. And give it five minutes. So that's how you fix an Alienware computer that you might think is broken because it has a blue screen. So uh, that's probably what I'm going to name this video. And yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys later. Peace.